tenth day of Christmas my true love gave to me Four calling moose, three beaver tails, two caribou, and a porcupine in a pine tree. So, it's day four, and it's time to draw a caribou. Once again, the guitar goes to the side. Here's the painting from the book. There's the book. It was fun doing these caribou because, well, I'm caribou. Ah, it was fun doing these moose. How can I call them caribou? It was fun doing the moose. Of course, it's hard to find a moose in your neighborhood, so I went to the Royal Ontario Museum where they have a beautiful one there on display. And it was a wonderful day drawing it. Now, this was one of the sketches that I did, but I wanted to make them a little bit more ca uh, cartoony. And so what we want to do today is draw those moose. Now, once again, we're going to start with the ground. And then we're going to go up. And now we're going to use those gesture lines because there's four of them. One's going to go that way, one's going to go that way, one will go that way, and one will go that way. Now, those three, those four lines will tell me which way my, car my, my moose, why do I say caribou? My moose are going. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just show how high I want them. And then I'm going to do, here's the body again. There's the body of that one. We'll do the two front ones first. And then we'll go up here, and what we'll do is we'll put... A sort of a triangle for the head. And for the other one, we'll also do a little bit of a triangle for the head. Again, these are like stick figures. And then what we'll do is we'll go for the feet, the legs. And the legs come down here, and the legs come down. So, now we connect. Now the neat thing about moose is they've got these funny faces where their noses come down like that. And they have these big lips for grabbing weeds underwater. There's those beards. And then these big bodies. We're going to go for the legs. Again, we're going to start off really simple shapes. And it's shapes down here. And the same thing for this moose. What we'll do is we'll start with his nose. And they have those big noses, and then he's got his mouth open, singing. I'll put a smile on him. Put this beard that a moose has. And we'll come down, we'll keep it simple still, around the circle. We'll view the upper muscles of the legs. We'll go down to the knees, square them off. And we'll go down to the hooves. And they, they have actually very sh sharp, smaller hooves than the caribou had. I guess they don't have to run as much on snow or else they can stay above it. Um, and then the other one. Now, we'll come up here and for the mooses, oh, let's put their eyes on. They were s had their eyes closed. Well, when you're singing, Sometimes you close your eyes just to hear how wonderful the music is. We'll put his big ears here. Moose have these big ears. Sometimes they stand up, so we'll put his ears going up like this. And then they have those big antlers. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do big curves like this, just to make those huge antlers. And some of them are going to overlap. Come down right here, just finish this off a little bit. Oh, this moose on the side here. We're gonna have that one singing this way, so we'll put his head like a triangle like that. Remember the triangle I say I start to cut off the ends of him. I'll put his nose in like this. Let's put a smile on him too, because he's happy singing. His eyes. Oops, his nose should be up like that. Sorry. They have big noses. And this moose, well this one's going to be hanging up from behind so he's, he's showing up and we'll put his antlers coming back there. This moose is going to be singing out this way. We'll put his head there. They're hiding behind I guess. We have to make sure that we don't hide them too much. Put his nose like this. I didn't know that moose can close their nostrils so when they're eating weeds underwater, they don't get their noses full of water, unlike me when I'm swimming. There's 
his nose, and we'll put his ears up like this. And we have to put those antlers on, and they'll come in behind like this. Now, let's go back up to those antlers. They're huge on moose. Okay, which moose are we going to put forward? That one. We'll put this one front. So we're going to come around. I'm going to just simplify everything. Very simple, like this. And the other side. And then this moose's antlers will be behind, so we'll just draw it as if they're poking in behind. Okay, put a smile on him too. These were very happy moose, the way I saw them in the story. Now moose have big humps on their back, so we'll put a big hump right here. And a big hump right here. Now, one of the things that you have to pay a lot of attention to is putting their back legs in, and sometimes that can be hard because you have to count and fit them all in. So I'm just going to put one back leg back there if I had more time. Remember, these things always take a lot of time to do. And then we can put this moose with his legs out like this. And let's put that moose out with his legs out like this, as if they were sticking out. So we'll do this his joints, because the knee joints are big, even on humans. we we'll put his hoof like that, or oh, this guy's hoofs. I keep saying that wrong. Hoofs or hooves? I better look it up. Check my dictionary. So you can see how we're starting to get the four moose. Okay, well, we got to get their, their ribbons in. We'll get the ribbons on here little bow ties. I thought the moose would be funny with little bow ties. There we go. And you can see this is how I started the moose. I will finish this and post it, but it gives you an idea how to do it. So this is four calling moose. Uh, for 12 days of drawing. Well, thanks for joining me. All right, whoops. And uh, check with me tomorrow because maybe we'll have a little contest to see who can send in the nicest drawings of moose and all the rest. Well, anyways, thanks for coming. We'll see you tomorrow.